All right, got DeAndre, my son, on the tractor, out here trying to teach him something. Think he might be enjoying himself and paying a little attention. I got him turning my ground up early. I like to turn my ground early so it can get plenty of oxygen. So I like to do this about a about a month, like once a week prior to me planting it. So I can get, get my ground just right the way I like it. But he seemed to be enjoying himself. Hope he enjoys it a lot, because I need his help. Seen the line real quick. So, got quite a bit of work to do. What is dirt is just outstanding. This is some of the most beautiful dirt. Stopped a little shout, but that'd be all right. This, this is some of the most beautiful dirt you could ever lay your eyes on. I'm trying to tell you. It's kind of kind of sandy, loamy. It is so doggone full of good nutrients for crops. And uh, last year, this thing yielded a lot. It's not a big garden by any stretch of the imagination but it did good as you can see i still got uh some mustards up there they're flowering and seed heading flowering and seed heading right now and what i'm doing is i'm not gonna take them down yet because i want to try to get the seeds out of them so i don't have to go buy any i like doing that and i still got some cabbages uh the plan is to do the same thing with them and they're all headed up right now. I can harvest some of them. They're good. They just look rough on the outside, but they're still good. Then my broccoli, it's starting to come back. I still got, I got some heads. You can't hardly tell, but there is some heads starting to pop up on it. But the thing about it is the weather is turning warmer. So if they're going to do anything, it's got to be quick. Otherwise... I'm gonna be pulling heads off them. My collard greens, they still doing their thing. I can get plenty more off of them. But uh, I got my son just turning my ground over for me. Ain't never rode the tractor before, so teaching opportunity for what he will be doing when he gets out of the Navy and come back home if he chooses to. So, but on a little bigger scale, cause we got three more fields to, well, Two more fields to plow and uh, my fence row garden that goes down the fence over there. So all in all, this year I'm, I'm hoping and praying that I can have the yield that I'm looking for to be able to actually make a little bit of, a little bit of something on the side since I don't know if he's going to cut grass this year. So if he, if he does or doesn't cut grass, that's fine. If he doesn't, I can sure use his hands around here, helping me get this stuff moving. So, and we got a lot of cleanup to do from the fall. We had a lot of limbs and stuff fall, and it's a whole bunch of stuff. I got to take care of an erosion problem. It comes from my neighbor's yard when it rains. So we got to fix this and just trying to get this dirt worked up. All right, that's status for now. We'll be back with y'all a little later.